Hi there, welcome to Sherry Stack Treasures. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crisscross, crisscross card. It's a little pocket that you can slide an insert into. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing, the card base is made out of two four and a quarter by eleven inch uh, pieces of cardstock. So you can get one card out of one eight and a half by eleven piece. Alright, so now I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to score my card base at five and a half inches. So I'll line it up there. On this scoring to, or on this paper cutter, the, the lighter gray is the scoring tool. So I'll just score that and do the same to the other one. So I'm scoring at five and a half inches. So it's marking the center. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut diagonally. So from the top score line down to the bottom. So I'm going to line this up like this with the groove. And I'm sorry if my head gets in the way here. I just want to make sure I can line it up properly. And this time I'm going to use the dark gray blade and just snip that. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same to the other piece. So right from the score line and down. Alright, looks good. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way. Now I'm going to pull out my paper, or my scoring tool, and I'm just going to fold this in use my scoring tool to make it nice and crisp and I'll do the same with the other one this way all right and then before we go ahead what we're gonna what we're gonna going to eventually do and actually you know what we can do it now so what I will do is I will stick some adhesive again combo Whenever I film a video, I seem to almost be out of Tombow. What's with that? Okay, let's grab another one. Excuse me. Okay, let's try this again here. So, some Tombow on there. We're going to stick that in here, like so. Alright, and then this flap will go down and this flap will go down. But before we do that, because I want to add patterned paper to my triangular pieces, I'm going to take care of cutting that. So, I have got, this is a piece of the French Prince um, patterned paper from the Celebrate the Everyday Occasions catalog. Um, and I've trimmed it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to diagonally cut this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my paper cutter again. Line this up. Like that. And one thing that I do like to do when I cut my DSP at an angle is I'll move my cutter to the center of the DSP and then move it back and forth. I find that sometimes um, it will catch on the corners because the paper isn't as thick and it'll start to tear it. So I just find by putting it in the center there and cutting in both directions that works well. Alright, so then I will bring my card base back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add adhesive put it on there and then adhesive on this one, I'm going to flip it over, adhesive on this one and put it on there. Okay, I've got one here that has the patterns already on it and actually with this one just needs to be stuck down so I will do that quickly. Okay, so there's our card base, and then we are going to just add just a little bit of adhesive along there. Just a 
that and stick that down. And then we're going to stick this one down as well. So I add just a little bit of adhesive there and then just part way up. So just about like that. All right. And then we're going to stick that down. And there we've created our little pocket. Okay, so for the insert, I've used a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is three and three quarters by five and a quarter inches. And that just slides in here. I've added a little um, Costa Cabana one and a quarter inch circle to the top there, just to decorate it a little bit. And then I've got, um, I've used the coffee cup from the Perfect Blend stamp set, which is available in the Stampin' Up! catalog. Uh, so I've stamped that in baked brown sugar. I used another pattern from that same Fresh Prints pattern paper pack, and then just stamped it again on there and cut it out and added that. So that's paper piecing. I've got another video that shows you how to do that. If you haven't done that before, you can check out my, check out my YouTube channel. And then I've stamped the greeting, Coffee and Friends are the perfect blend, on some Postal Cabana, and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive on here and add this to it. Okay, and then I'm going to show you, if you look at the original card, see how there's kind of some rolled baker's twine in behind, or not baker's twine, linen thread in behind there. I'm going to show you how I do that. Now I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. I'm sure there's other ways, but this is what works for me. I have got a 16 inch length of linen thread and I'm going to loosely wrap it around my fingers. And then I'm just going to kind of make it a little bit messy. And you can see that I didn't stamp it straight there, so I just used the other side. And then I'm going to put that on there and use dimensionals because I plan on popping up my accent anyways to hold it in place. So just use a few of those and those will hold it in place. And it doesn't really matter what it looks like um, on the back because nobody's going to see the back. So I'll just remove the dimensionals or the backing and then I'll tuck this on here. There we go. Super cute. And it's so quick and easy. It's, it's nice to create a standard size card, but maybe use a different fold and just something a little fun, something a little bit different. All right. So thanks for watching. If you're looking for more inspiration, feel free to visit my blog at www.stamptreasures.com. Bye-bye.